Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be adding a little bit of an error message here um, to display when these parameters are not, match, um, not matched. Um, well, not really if they're not matched, just if something generally goes wrong here, which it shouldn't. Um, the trim function, what that does is any space at the end, so let me show you. Wait, hold on, let me select the main. Come on. So, like when you are typing here and you put a space, and then you start typing your password, this space here, the trim, will get rid of that. So that uh, it, it just makes it more neat and that. Because one thing in programming or anything, you can't trust user input. So, never forget that. You can never trust user input. So um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead, this is in our validate one class. Um, we remember we had to make this static because it was complaining about that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a pop out a J option uh, menu. So say J option uh, option, wait, hold on, option main dot, wait for it, show message dialog no and then our message uh, we're gonna say uh, there was uh, an error <laughs> can change it as we go and then just to make it more customizable we're gonna give it a title we're gonna say um, invalid or let's just say error let's just keep things simple and then here we're gonna just go and say AJ option pain dot error message so that um, this error message is going to give it an icon so that when it shows it'll be like a big little exclamation mark no that would be with a warning I'm not exactly sure and as well um, the other neat function that I always use in in uh, Eclipse so that makes your code manageable is control shift and F and it, it auto arranges it makes it neat so everything is within a standard so now that we've got this going, um, what we're also going to do, let's just find where this class ends. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the validate to method. Oops, method. And, and um, basically, what's going to happen here is when it gets to this statement if all these parameters are okay we want it to trigger this so let's go ahead first and say um, private static void uh, valid wait, and small letters validate two it doesn't matter you don't have to make it small letters um, the reason I do it is I always make my classes a capital letter to start with and then method small letters and camel casing the usual so um, as well the other thing we want to put in here we want to say string get username comma string get pass this mouse pad is driving me crazy get password and uh, just hold on one second sorry about that I needed a cough and uh, what we're going to do here we're going to do what we did in the last one so I'm just gonna copy this so I don't have to write it out again I'm just gonna put that there because now this is a new instance I can't see what's uh, Bob probably can't oh, no I can't no, and that's in a method in a class so I can't but uh, we want to declare our own stuff and then as usual open a try catch can never be too safe because you don't want your programs uh, ending for horrific display so uh, what we're going to do here um, in this validate method what we're going to do is we want to validate our username and password even further so like let's say someone says Tom Apples it's a username now something that can help with an SQL injection sometimes is when they because we're first going to do text files and then we're going to do SQL is in this space here leads to those kind of things that gives them more room in that so what we want to do is make it that now if there's a space in there we want to tell them sorry the username is invalid 
or the password as well so let's go ahead and do that so now that we've got that we're going to say a username oops username is equal to get username because we we asked it here in the variable to get that and then we're going to say password is equal to get password and there we go now we're going to start our conditional checking so what i'm thinking of doing which will probably be the fastest solution and okay, let's just see okay there we go so we're going to put this in here like that so and then control shift f just to make sure everything's neat and why are we getting this hmm. oh, okay right um new login uh, dot validate to username and password there we go and why are you still okay let's try there we go that works because i don't like yellow lines but we still have the knock over here get text and new login build login because that's static there we go excuse me i need i've got a bit of a cough sorry about that anyway now that we're back here so what we're going to do and we're going to say instead of dot equals we're going to say dot contains so let's go ahead and copy that everywhere and then we want to make this a space so if your any of it contains a space we uh, we're gonna make it highlight so like let's say Tom and one two three four that's fine but let's say Tom Apples login it's gonna say whoops you know that but instead of just highlighting it we're gonna take the highlight away in fact and we're gonna make it display a message so let's also check uh, uh, I made a space here net yeah, yep, works and um, yeah, as well, I want to show you something quite cool with the trim function. Let me explain it further like apples and then one, two, three with the space and then just one, two, three, four. Um, well, let's get rid of that space there. But we've got a space here. So log in and you see what the trim function does is it gets rid of any excess space here while it's working it out. So that um, just makes it easier, unnecessary data um, because spaces is still bots and that thing the storage world so anyway now instead of a highlight in here we're gonna go ahead and let's just copy our j option plain error message here and this is when both of them connect so we're gonna go and say there was an error or we're gonna just say uh, username and or instead of that let's just say the username and password is invalid Okay, and now let's just copy this so that we don't have to keep writing these things over and over again. And here we're just going to say the username, and we're just going to get rid of that, is invalid. Here we're just going to say the password is invalid. That's why we've got that. Control Shift F to make it look neat. And there you go. And let's over here and just put in the error message. Um, uh, let's also uh, another thing I want to teach you is that in your try and catches right like here sometimes if you just keep copying and pasting this uh, or the, the catch errors it becomes hard to locate them so uh, what I want to do or which I usually do is I always going to say um, for program inside there is an error in uh, validate or I actually start with the class uh, and uh, login uh, and then this is obviously another class so uh, just say class again because you know there's only one try catch in this but try and make your error messages as detailed as possible because like end users when they get your products or anything like that and they have a problem it might be something that they're doing and the error you can help them explain it what's going on so 
error in class login um, method validate to there we go now let's give this a run let's see just here just for the sake of it let's go and say system dot out print line say all good let's go and do that now let's run it okay so let's put in uh, like apples and then one two three four run all good so our username and password is all good there's nothing wrong with it now let's go and put a space apples one two three the username is invalid and um, remember we made that because like if it detects that there's a space we wanted to spit out look here the username is invalid uh, so let's as well go and add a space and just add random characters here login the username and password is invalid and uh, just to test it let's get rid of this now the password is invalid so let's just put like one character there all good so there you go so please subscribe keep watching and uh, in part five we'll start uh, looking at the text file based login it's a very unsecure way but um, it's how to start just to understand the concepts of how it all works so subscribe, like and keep watching.